I am working on making some stools. So I saw this neat little uh, video planned by, um, who is this? April Walkers, Walkers I think, um, on YouTube. Uh, it's just a little tri stand, and you make these connectors to hold the legs. And uh, the small, this is actually the smaller connector, which also is the top to attach the seat top to. Now, that's what I like it ends up being. Again, here's the bottom one to hold the legs in place, plus give yourself a foot rest. And then this, that's a smaller um, little trifold to hold the top in place. So I made off this trifold, which is a heart really kind of a, you gotta figure that out somehow. Um, draw it, measure it, trying to get where it goes. And then I did trying some variable things and that, you know, it doesn't really matter that it's that perfect pretty little trifold. You can just add some extra, extra bit to it because um, this is where you can put your feet on. The only thing that really matters is that you can get 120 degrees from a notch here to a notch here to a notch here. That's all that really matters because that's what's going to hold your legs in place. So, you know, I can just do it as a circle maybe. As long as I can get 120 degrees for my notches. Now, as the foot rest, this circle might be sticking out a little bit too far. It might be bumping your legs too much, so I'll have to look at that and see what I need to cut off. Um, and this is all out of half a sheet of plywood. So if my plywood was $50, um, that was, that's $25 um, I spent, and this is enough for... I don't have enough legs for four um, yet. i got to cut a couple more legs. So we're talking three, three and a half. So again, I'm, I'm gonna try some stuff at the top because this is what attaches the seat. So I tried it you know, with really you know, pretty small, almost cut to what um, the trifold is. Then I just let it go a little bit while, and then I'm gonna try just a round one. Again, the, what matters is you can get 120 degrees between notches. Um, so this is all three quarter inch plywood. I haven't, I thought about trying to do some MDF, some um, medium density fiber um, for these pieces, not for the legs. I don't think the MDF would be good for the legs. Um, so that's one thought, one other variable, so many variables to play with this. That's hard to deal with. Oh, and the legs, right now they're just all three inches, but They've got a little taper to them in her design, so I'll work on that. Um, tapering those, I haven't done that yet. And you know, you got to round off these edges, sand things down, um, dry fit things, and then glue them up. Um, so I've got some seat tops that are made from some of my um, scraps or smaller pieces of hardwood, like my elm my maple and my cherry um so that's a couple seat tops there but then i also decided to just make one seat top out of gluing two three quarter inch um chunks together just to make it wider instead of just having one three quarter inch um i'll work on that and the other thing that they do part of the reason i did one with three quarter because the other ones are all one inch thick with the, with the hardwood is that they um, were di dished out the seats as they kind of make a scoop in the seats because your butt sitting on straight solid flat actually gets uncomfortable after a while so if you get a little scoop in it supposedly you know like a seat that's why those seats have a little little scoop in them so i gotta figure out how to do that um so that's the project we're playing with um more to come. I've, I've ended up using my bandsaw more. I was using my jigsaw to start with on these circles because um, it's in a big piece of wood. I then realized if I can cut it down to a smaller size to fit in my bandsaw that it's going to get a better cut. So that's you know, playing with the tools.